what has happened what has happened is very clear you know you have seen the pictures you have seen the first hand witnesses you have seen the photographs and you have i'm sure you have read a lot about the atrocities a massacre took place in in hojali but the you know the curious thing about this was that it has happened in the eyes of Western civilization and billions of people. There were a handful of countries, including Pakistan and Turkey, who has objected this atrocity since from day one. But unfortunately, especially those preachers of the you know human rights and democracy and you know uh, free will. We have heard nothing from them in the past 30 years. They were always there to criticize anything that some countries, some group of people do here and there or say here and there. But they remained with a deafening silence for 30 years. They called this a conflict. A frozen conflict. This was not true. You can freeze the conflict on the surface, but the bloodshed and the tear Hojali caused for millions of Turks in Azerbaijan, Turkey, millions of Muslims around the world was always there and not frozen. This is what has happened. What is happening, Alhamdulillah, what is happening is that frozen conflict is not frozen anymore. And Azerbaijan, under its rightful stance, uh, under the international law, used its, its best efforts on the ground to take back all the occupied territories which remained occupied Please be careful, for 30 years, 30 long years. So what Azerbaijan did was a commendable job. And, and this is what is happening now, the reconstruction, you know, the rehabilitation of the territories, rehabilitation of a society who has suffered a lot from atrocities like this in the past 30 years. And what will happen? My third part of the third part of my what will happen and what will you see? What will you see is that our efforts will continue for peace in the region. Because at the end of the day, the harmonious coexistence of all those countries, peoples together in our geography is something that we attach a lot of importance to because it is the peace which will bring prosperity, security, and lasting economic development to all of our countries. And the sooner it happens, the sooner everybody, every stakeholder gets to the grasp of these facts everything will be much better in the future, inshallah. So with these words, I once again reiterate our strong solidarity with Azerbaijan and its people. I would like to thank Pakistan and its people, its government.